What is up YouTube? Today we're going to be ranking all the new content that just dropped. So that includes the TA cards, headliners cards, rank seasons, and the season award drop. So let's get right into it. Okay, first up we have Rich Rulero. Now this card is really good. I've been using him in the event and some co-op. He's been really fun. I might even throw him on the rank squad. Yeah, one, well, yeah, 122 point average contact against, you know, 109 power. Like that power plays. I feel like he... You know, he's been hitting some absolute nukes. Um, good clutch. I wish it was like you know around this 120 range, but he's still really good. Gonna fit the Giants boost really good. Um, but yeah, for me, hold up. Okay, yeah. That never wants to work, huh? Um, but yeah, for me, he's easy, Esther. Easy, boys. Rap Dixon. I don't know too much about him. I used him when he was supercharged, and he was really good. Can fit the carol boost. Can play pretty much everywhere besides catcher. Um, yeah, 115.5 average contact, 92.5 power, you know, average power, but still good. Like, once you get in P5, it gets over that 90 threshold, which I feel like you really need. 116 clutch is really good. You know, good speed, you know, good fielding. Uh, so, yeah, this code's going to be really good. Um, really good. Yeah, put him in A tier, boys. Tony Oliveira or Tony Oliva. My bad. My bad. Almost almost misspelled. This card's really good. I uh, didn't know what to expect with this, but you know, it's pretty solid. HG power against left, you know, he's not gonna do much against lefties, but you know. Um but yeah, ninety four average power, you know, one sixteen you know, average contact, so really good. One twenty five clutch two helps him. Um I think honestly, like I was gonna put him A, but I feel like he's just solid, you know. Um, do you really need him? Like when we're gonna talk about some of these other guys, you know, as far as like B God Squad, that's kind of what I do it on. You know, how, how they can do on Hall of Fame. He's gonna do good on Hall of Fame. But do you really need him? Like you know, like this is the B God Squad. This is just good. You know, you can use that as you know you need on your God Squad. So, but yeah, Matt Holiday. Matt Holiday's A. Like he's really good. He always starts off really good for me, and then he just kind of struggles. But hopefully that's not the case this year. But he's really good. Let's look at. You know, you know, 121 average contact, 103 average power, 125 clutch, 122 clutch, you know, still gets up to 125 uh, P3. So really good card. Really, really good. And that's good, good swing. Steve Finley. Ooh, Steve Finley's always underrated in my opinion, but this is probably the most balanced card. You know, this typical Steve Finley. So he's always really balanced, like 108 average contact. 105 average power, 111 clutch, like it just really balanced, really similar. But we'll put him at a solid A tier because you know he he could honestly, well, he could honestly fit you know like the B God Squad. I think I think he deserves that. Raul Banez, I, I like him. He gets a lot of singles for me, which you know one to one power against right, like you know in 94, like I thought he would have a little bit more power. But you know, it's still pretty good. You know, good, good clutch, uh, good contact, great clutch. So, I mean, a solid B tier. I feel like you know this card is just you know pretty solid. It's just, it's just good. If you know the shields on one to work today, huh? It just does not want to work today. Huh? But Ryan Braun here, um, <clears throat> yeah, Ryan Braun's solid. I mean, it looks similar to the card we got last um, in the. He was a BR program, I'm not entirely sure, but he was really good. Um, clutch, 115, 125, you know, he can play first and third on this card, which is really good. But I still think, you know, like, is he, like, a must-need? Not really. But we'll put him, put him solid B tier. If it would, okay. There we go. Those don't have some issues today, boys. <laughs> But yeah, Michael Young. Michael Young is always a good card, but the problem with him is that he just never gets the exit reloads. I feel like the power, you know, this attribute is always there. Like, you know, he's got everything you'd look for. Um, you know, and some good fielding too. Arm strength may be a little bit lower, you know, considering guys has got like Ellie and, you know, Uno Cruz, like some guys like that. But, you know, you know he's, he's still a good card. We'll put him a solid, solid A2. There we go. Um, Larry Doby. I love Larry Doby. I think he's super underrated. Um, but, you know, like when you compare him to other guys, like he is going to, you know, 
be a little bit undervalued. Um, I think if they release like Larry Doby and guys like you know Duke and you know, you know just some of these other guys earlier, they would be a lot more usable and you know they could be S tier at the time. But right now we just got too many good outfielders and you know, um, he he's just solid B. He is good. Next up, we got Adam Dunn. From the rank program, I believe at 70 points, 75, somewhere around there. For the Devers Bruce, so that's good. 125, 121 average power, 105. Um, Vision is a little bit lower. That's the only problem with him. Um, 105 clutch, same same thing, you know, like clutch is a little bit lower compared to some of these other guys. But, you know, he is, he's going to be good. He'll be good. I don't think he's like, you, you know must need or you know even fits on that god squad b but he's still a really good card like there's no necessarily bad cards in my opinion in this drop next up johnny damon um on paper looks really good can fit the carol boost um power is a little bit lower you know but once you get in p5 it gets over that 90 so it should be a little bit better but you know he's just he's just a good card his swing is actually really na nasty i will say that but yeah he is just a solid b a solid b Ralph Kiner, I don't really, like, Ralph Kiner's never bad. It's just he's kind of mid. Like, not nothing to do with his attributes. It's just when you think of playing, like, a baseball video game, like, you don't think of playing with Ralph Kiner. But on paper, it looks really good. Um, bad swing at all either. It's just he's just kind of mid. He's just there. We always get a Ralph Kiner card, and he's always the same. Next up, this is the new collection reward. I don't know why it doesn't have the... Um, you know, picture, but whatever. Uh, Max Scherzer, he's solid. Ah, uh, he's a B tier. Like he's got a four seam slider, circle change, slurve, and cutter. Like it's just all right. Like it's nothing. Like it's nothing crazy. It, he's just always, just always. You know, just solid B. He's good. Like, but you don't really need him in your rotation. You know, um, compared like compared to guys like we got up next, who Johan Santana. Like, he was, his 90 overall hyper series card was really good. Decent quirks, you know, nothing, I don't really, you know, think about quirks like that, but yeah. Like, 1 in 13 hits per 9, you know, clutch is good, control, velo, you know, break is really good, you know. Like, looking at these, like, it's just really good. But we're going to put him at a solid S2. I feel like he is one of the best pitchers right now um, in the game. So, you know, probably go out and get this card and going to use him a little bit more, but I think it's going to be really fun and really solid. Ryan Sandberg, um, he's a, he's the just there's this category of good. Like there's nothing wrong with him. Um, you know, just just good. I mean, the fielding is a little bit lower, but you know, 118s, you know, clutch, um, 110 average, 109 average power. So just just a solid B, you know, solid B boys. Orlando Cepeda, I like this card. Like I know some people don't like his stance, but he's actually really good. Um, so from Cervaki, apparently, huh? Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah, one twelve average contact, one oh ninety six average power, um, good clutch. So put him in the solid B tier. I think, um, you know, he fits that. Like a lot of these cards are just B tier because they're, they're good. But like, you know, I feel like, do you really need them? Or do you, even on your bench, like that's that's the thing. You know, maybe for like you know team builds and stuff like that. But other than that, like, you know. It is what it is. Uh, Johnny Bench is mid. Like, I... Okay, where'd he go? Um, yeah, he is just mid as mid can be. Same thing with Ralph Kiner. Like, always get a Johnny Bench card, and it's never really, like... It's never released at the right, right time. Like, if they release him a little bit earlier, he is definitely usable, but he's just kind of mid. And his face, like, looks like... I don't know what they did with his face game. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, Tony Clark. Ooh, Tony Clark is a very, like... Very good card. A lot of first basemen um, in this drop. Um, yeah, but 105 average power, 117 average contact, 104 clutch. The only thing, he is a good card, but the clutch hurts him, especially when we guys like with 125 in this drop. So, solid B tier. Like, he's good. He's good, and definitely, you know, he could he could eventually fit in this A tier. A tier. I think he definitely is, like, kind of on that borderline of, like, A and B, like, you know, but, like, he's just a great, he's just a solid card. I look at Fitzgerald, and I don't know too much about him. Did use him a couple times at BR. It was pretty good. Can fit the Carroll boost. Can fit the Muncie boost. Um, you know, 109 average contact, 113 average power. 
vision is a little bit lower, so same thing with discipline. 120 clutch gets up to 125 at P5. Be a solid card, you know, can play everywhere but catcher. So that's gonna be good. 99 speed too. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put this card A tier. I think it's really good. You could definitely, definitely use this card. Even without a boost, you know. Um, Mini. A is another guy that they just don't release at the right times, I feel. Um, that is the problem with some of these guys. They just don't get released at the at the right times. Um, but yeah, it's just always, you know, he's solid, you know, 118 average contact, you know, you know, I, I know average power of 87, a clutch is good, but yeah, just never released at the right time, play a good bit of, bit of positions too, so, yeah, solid B tier, boys. Trevor Hoffman, I don't like Trevor Hoffman cards, I suck with them, but, you know, he's good on paper, you know, he's gonna be good for a lot of people, just he's never good for me, um, you know, 118, you know. 125 clutch, 93, velo is low, but, you know, 99 break, but I'll put him in the solid, like, you know, A2, like, he's gonna make my rotation just because, um, just because pitching is, you know, or, re or relievers are especially, are you know, are, um, kind of needed, um, I feel like we don't have really that many good relievers, and you need a wild card, son, you know, but, so he's just gonna fit in that solid, you know, just A tier, he's good, and you probably need him in your rotation. Pretty bullpen. Next up, we got Raleigh. Smell my fingers, eh? Um, he's good. Like, I don't need to say much. We know what we're getting with the Raleigh card. Um, yeah, like he, he's S tier. Like, you need him. He's probably gonna be one of the one of the better relievers in the game. And yeah, he just we know what we're getting with the Raleigh card. Which it was a little different card. Maybe like they gave us a Mark McGuire card. That'd be cool. But they gave us a lot of first baseman. So. Yeah, really good. Need him in your lineup. <clears throat> or need him in your bullpen, my bad. We're all well mid. Mid as mid can be. I don't really like to talk about these mid cards, but like we get the same card like every year with Roy. I mean he's got he's got a sinker, but like that's about it. Like he's just mid. Like I never do good with Roy. Um he always gets lit uh, lit up lit up every time I see him. But yeah, fits that solid mid there. I was gonna put him in like the WCF no category, but like I mean still he's somewhat usable, I guess. Greg Maddox, just because I feel like he is the best pitcher in this game, or not in this game, but in this drop, uh, besides Johan, but like in the TA drop, um, besides Raleigh, of course, but the best starter, I think he's ass, like he's good, he was good for me last year, so I'm going to keep using him, um, uh, keep using him, keep testing him out, um, but yeah, he's going to be solid, he's going to be good, and I think he definitely has the potential to be a great, great pitcher, um, just what we'll have to see, like... <laughs> Yeah, but like, yeah, on paper he looks really good. One twenty-five, you know, one hundred five. But we'll just see. I mean, I we'll just see. John Crook. I suck with this card, but I mean, like on paper he looks really good. Um, oh, let me. Um, yeah, ninety eighty-seven. So it gets up to ninety, like at P four on both sides. So that's good. Um, you know, great contact, a uh, good clutch. You know, one twenty-five at P five. But you know, he's just a solid card. Put him in that solid beat. Not S, no, John. You, you get down there to B. Uh, Tom Saver again. Like he is another card that I feel is good, but just never gets you know released at the right time. Like that's the thing. Like with these TAs, I feel like they gotta release these cards, especially like if they're gonna do like 99s. Um, release them earlier. You know, make us wait on some of these bigger 99s. Sprinkle a couple here and there, but like make some of these guys you know you know usable and just you know and more more usable. You know, like as far as you know. Seen him in your lineup. But yeah, solid B tier for Mr. Lever. Next up, we got Bernie Williams. Now, this card, easy S tier, boys. It's the best card in the drop. Um, can fit the Santana boost, the Yankee boost, obviously. Get 125, you know, can't fit the Carroll boost because of this 83 speed, which is kind of kind of stupid in my opinion. But yeah, really good on paper. Really solid. Um, yeah, you know, 95 point average power that's gonna play 125 average contact and 125 clutch, just so good, so good with Birdie. Put him easy, Esther. Eh. Easy. Uh, Tori Hunter, another guy, he is just good, like, there's nothing wrong with him. He is just, you know, just better options. Um, like, yeah, looking at that 116, 106, um, 114, you know, clutch, so. Yeah, just solid B tier for Mr. Hunter. 
next up we have Carlos Pena. Um, you know, he's a good card. He's solid. Um, nothing wrong with him. L version vision hurts him a little bit, but still really good card. Same thing with clutch. I mean, he doesn't have the clutch. Um, but it is similar to his contact, so it's not too bad. Yeah, great power. You know, he's gonna be he's gonna be just he's just gonna be a fun card. You know, to use. It's gonna be a solid B tier. Nope, you get down to B. There we go. There we go. Next up, we have Britton Doyle. Now, I didn't know too much about this card. I never really used a Britton Doyle card, never really test used them. Um, but yeah, like on paper, 112 average contact can fit the Carol boost and fix the Muncie boost. Um, 116 average power. Vision is a little bit lower, but I mean, still usable. Same thing with Discipline. 125 clutch. Great fielding, 99 speed. Like, just this card is it's so good. And it's got a really good swing from what I've used. So he's going to fit in that S2 for me. Next up, Carlos Delgado. Now, this one may surprise some people. I feel like he's always underrated, but I feel like you could you could use him, at, you know, in S2. Like, he he could fit on your God Squad. I know we got, like, you know, Joe Maurer and people like that, but on paper, he's really good. Fits the Devers boost. Um, maybe more so the DH, but, like, he is really good, man. Like, I love me some Delgado cards. Butter swing. One, one of the cleanest, no doubters, too. 125 clutch, you know, feeling's not there, speed's not there, but like the hitting is just there, man. I feel like, you know, he's easy for me, at least in my opinion, S tier, and you really need to go and use this card. <coughs> um, Cal Raleigh, um, Cal's always good. Um, you know, I feel like he's just one of those guys that doesn't get the X VLOs too. Like, same thing, like, um, we're gonna talk about, um, we talked about with Michael Young, just does not get that exit VLO. Um, you know, get some good, good quirks and stuff. I don't really look at quirks that much, but clutch is 116, good fielding, obviously, you know, with Cal. Not the best speed, but, like, yeah, I feel like, you know, Cal is A tier. Pretty solid card, I would say. Josh Gibson. I don't even, this card is just absolutely insane. Like, you play every position but second base. Um, just 108 average contact, 125 average power, great fielding, good speed, you know, solid. Um, but yeah, just so good, man, so good. Um, and when we and you know when we get a boost for some of these, um, you know, storyline guys and you know the Jenkins series, that's gonna be really good if we get one. But it, oh, he's just so good, so good. This one I think is Giancarlo. I don't know why it doesn't have you know same thing with Sergio. Um, it's just a little, a little dumb. But yeah, he can fit his own boost, you know. Uh, yeah, but 108, 118, 125, you know, uh, 125, you know, good fielding, actually, for a John Carlo card. Speed is a little bit, little bit lower. Um, but, yeah, this card is going to fit in um, in A tier for me. I think he's good. I just don't think he's, like, you know, especially, like, when we have some of the other outfield options. Yeah, I don't think he really fits, you know, in, in outfield, at least. But, like, he'll be, like, the backup, you know, like, the bitch. Like, you get all realistically lose a lot of these guys on the bench um and even fit the platoon or something like that but yeah duke another guy that is an easy like a tier like he's just underutilized man like he's good but like just underutilized and just it's never released at the right time like a, with a lot of these guys like imagine we get like a you know release a 99 duke a 99 you know like let's say steve at the you know and similar time, same thing with Michael Young. Like, they would be usable, but no, we we got, like, you know, some of the better cards in the game, like Jimmy, Mookie, you know, all those guys, you know. I know we should get them, you know, but yeah, sprinkle them in, you know, sprinkle the um, good ones in, make, certain, make some of these guys, you know, like, let's say, like a John Crook, a Larry Doby, Raw, you know, sprinkle them more so and push them more because, you know, um, you know, you got to use them and test them, you know, you just use them. And uh, David Ortiz, he is... He's a DH menace. Like he's not gonna play the field, but he can fit the Devers boost. Um, he's really good. One twenty five clutch is gonna help. Him. You know, one one fifteen power. I thought they might have given both on. You know, both sides, but you know, still really good. Uh, he's gonna fit A tier. I think you know he's the backup. He's he's solid. You know, but like when you guys when you got like a Josh Gibbs and a Carlos Delgado. You know, I I know some people might say um, you know David Ortiz is a little bit better than Delgado, but I feel like. The reason, like, that makes Delgado so good is because he can actually field a little bit, especially at that catcher position. I know we got, like, Josh, but Josh can play, like, anywhere, so he'll be fine. Is that second? But, yeah, just really good. Really good. Mike Lowe. 
Ooh, Mike Lowe is easily A tier. Like, I just feel like they're better options. But as a backup, you know, and like if you need somebody, like he's going to be great. Great. I don't really need to talk about this card too much because he's an absolute menace and he's good. He's just solid. Like, no bad cards besides, like, you know, these, these three, you know, <laughs> these mid guys. But anyway, solid card. He's good. He'll be fun. Um, Tim Raines. The only reason he does not get S tier, and I. And they did my boy dirty. He has a power, a power against right. He can fit the Santana boost, and that will help him. But like, other than that, like he's just gonna be a solid, you know, solid card. Um, he's gonna be good, and he he's got a butter swing. It fits easy into that A tier boys. But yeah, that is gonna do it for me. Um, let me know what you think of this list. You know, if you would put like somebody, you know, somewhere else, maybe somebody S tier, maybe somebody, you know, not in, you know, an S tier that's an A, you know, but let me know. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video and like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.